What do you do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. I want to play y'all an important announcement by Roman Reigns, former Universal Champion of the WWE. The good news is I'm in remission, y'all. So with that being said, the big dog is back! And just one last time. So Roman Reigns announcing that his cancer is in remission. It makes his return back to the WWE Raw when he announced that his leukemia was in remission. In October 2018, he announced that his leukemia had returned and he gave up his universal title. So congratulations to that man. Our prayers continue to uh, keep him and comfortably be with him as he struggled with a disease that claimed the lives of hundreds of thousands. I, this is kind of hard to say. I don't hope that it's true, but I hope that. OK, look. I don't hope that it's true. I want to make sure I'm saying this right. I hope that it's true, but I don't want it to be true. Put it that way. I hope that it's true, but I don't want it to be true. Let me tell you what I mean. The WWE, we know it is a it, it is staged. It is it is a um it's entertainment. It's not a real sport. It's an entertaining sport. And it comes with a lot of green plays and dialogues. I don't know personally if he had leukemia. I hope that it was true and that it wasn't some type of sick, perverted thing that to be said just to get views and make money and things off that when... This disease is serious, and a lot of people suffer with it, struggle with it, and have died from it. So, even though I know the WWE is entertainment, a lot of the uh, script is written, I'm just hoping that this is not one of them, because I just think that would be very sick, very harsh, to have something that you really don't have in a means of entertainment to get and make money off of the sufferings of millions worldwide that struggle with that disease. But if it is true, congratulations to Roman Reign. God is definitely working. Trust and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and things will go well with you, brother. Regarding to, look, people don't understand God is still a healer. That never changed. That never changed. And God provides for people even when they don't call out to him. A lot of people be, a lot of people don't understand the love of God, the goodness of God, and how much he do for you even without your permission. And we tend to get so caught up 
into the worries and pressures and struggles of this life that we allow distractions to remove us from the reality of who the living God is through his son, Jesus Christ. And in things like this, in times like this, that makes it so much more important that we should be seeking his face daily because you never know. You could be like these people that's out here. Bad times will come. Bad times have come. Bad, bad times are coming. Period. I'd rather face them with God than without him. And why do we always have to wait for things to happen to us before we react? We should be reacting before things happen. Don't sit there and wait for things to happen. Make things happen in your life. Make things happen in your life. I pray that this brother, man, while he going through this thing, that he don't get so comfortable that he forgets that he is fighting a spiritual warfare along with everybody else. And that it moves you to trust and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ while you fight against the enemy, the devil, and spiritual wickedness that you cannot see. That you don't have the power to fight in your physical. That Christ may be victorious in your life. In your life. Because regardless to what, one thing is for certain, you can't stay. You can't stay. So while you're here, you should want to make sure that you have a relationship with God who assures your hope, who assures your future, who give you the power to be overcomers and conquerors in this world. It matters a whole lot. It matters a whole lot. And if you just trust him and take him at his word and believe the thing that he say, then God, miraculous miracles and wonders will be manifested and revealed in your life. In your life. I live it every day. And I'm trying to tell you, man, whether you call out for him now or rather you don't, you are going to need him sooner or later. Some people die not coming to that reality and would have still been here if they would have came to that reality. Some people move and become successful while the spirit of God is speaking. It compels them to move and take God at his word. So I pray that this brother develop a stronger relationship with God through this trying time. And all the people around the world that are going through something. That's allowing the enemy to attack you in your mind, your body, your life, your health, your finances, your family, your children. Trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. It's the only one the devil fears. He's not scared of man. He conquer us every day. But he afraid of Jesus Christ. That's who he afraid of. That's who he never conquered, who he haven't conquered. And we need to start trusting and believing in God. We need to start being, stop being so ungrateful and unthankful and start blessing and praising the one who made and created to the glory of his name. That we may have a better chance at life. That we may have a hope and a better future for our family and children. That we may be positioned and know how to stand and not falter when trying times come. So with that being said, congratulations again to this brother. I hope he give God the praise that's rightfully due him through his son, Jesus Christ. And that he depend on the might of the Holy Spirit to deliver and keep him through. A lot of people don't know because they don't know God. But let me tell you something. God answers all prayers. God answers all prayer. There's not a prayer God haven't answered that he won't answer. God answers all prayers. Maybe not in the way that you want him to answer, but God answers prayers. Even when you're praying for your loved ones that's in God and you're saying, God, keep them safe. Heal them, God. Bring them. Let me tell you something. Even in death, people are healed. Because those sufferings and trials and tribulations they've been going through, they are gone. And they are now in a glorified state before the living God in the presence of Jesus Christ, powerful than ever, righteous and holy and pure, free from the laws of nature, where they are able to be glorious and victorious in God. God answered your prayer. He healed them. He healed them whole and completely. Because even when you ask asking God to help and heal people while they're here and don't take them, eventually we all got to walk that, we all got to walk that road. We all got to walk that road. 
Ain't no escaping it. But through God, through Jesus Christ, I'm more comfortable and faithful and facing it with him than without him because he's the giver of life. Death has no hold on us. That's why the Bible say death. Where's your sting? He removed the sting of death. The sting is something that hurt. Through the crucifixion and resurrection life through Jesus Christ, he removed the fear of death. The sting of death. That we are liberated in Christ Jesus. And death has no hold on us. Because just as he resurrected from the dead and conquered death and gave eternal life to those who believe in him, that's our insurance. That's our hope in knowing that just like he did it for himself, he'll do it for us, for all those who love him. In Jesus' name, subscribe to Battle Troop. It ain't my judgment, that's in question. It's yours. Roman, don't forget the God who blessed you, who had mercy and compassion on you. Make your life be a testimony to his goodness and his greatness. Trust and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Depend on the power of his might. And I guarantee you, you're going to be okay. Because God loves you.